Welcome back to the Goshen College Bachelorette. Last week, Emma went on a two-on-one with Joel and Anna and ended up sending Joel home. Then, at the leave ceremony, she was introduced to Gabe, a brand new contestant. After several one-on-ones, Emma ended up sending Jackson and Carlos home. Just three contestants remain. Who will get sent home this week on the Goshen College Bachelorette? fine dining establishments. So, I hope Love you it. enjoy. Yeah, it's so beautiful out here. It is, it really is. Mm. Gotta love the rot food. Yeah. For real. For sure. I Let's, mean, fine dining bagels. Yeah. I love it. How, how toasted do you like your bagels? Like um, burnt? Slightly golden? Slightly golden, mm-hmm. if not like a little bit raw, which is kind of oh, weird, but okay. like Mm-hmm. A little texture, a little mushy. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. You're going to have it like a little soft, but a little crispy. Like, exactly. In between. Yeah. What's your favorite meal at the, from the rat? Hmm. My goodness. I got to say, I like the rat pizza. I don't go there a lot, but when I do, the pizza's really good. That's a classic, for sure. Definitely. Do you have a favorite meal? I don't know about a favorite meal, but... Their sweet potato fries Ooh. are so amazing. Yes. My day just improves dramatically whenever they have yes. them. Oh. When they're like crinkled too. I could eat those all day. All I'd day. go through like an entire plate like the size of a... <laughs> yes. So good. Yes, absolutely. What were your favorite like foods growing up? Hmm. Well, I always ate mac and cheese. My babysitter would always make it for me. The little SpongeBob ones. Aww. I freaking loved it. <laughs> How about for you? I was really into like, my mom would make hamburger stroganoff and like ham and cheese stromboli. Mm. And I don't know, those were my top two favorite dishes when I was a kid. What else did you like to do in your childhood? Um, I loved being outside. <laughs> I was always climbing trees and running around. Yes. It was the best. How about you? I also liked being outside, that was fun. I read a lot as a kid. Um, we had like a little playhouse growing up, mm-hmm. and so I would go out there in the summers with all the windows open and like sit in the loft and just read. Aww. It was amazing, oh, yeah. That's the best. I love those memories as a kid. Do you ever want kids? I think sometime mm-hmm. down the line. Maybe when I'm like my early 30s. Yeah. I need to live a little first, you know? Yeah. What about you? I don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah. I could see it going either way. And that's, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I like what you said. I'd like to, like, go explore a bit and kind of find life and just kind of enjoy before, before having kids. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's Have so cool. Ever, yeah. Have you ever considered, like, fostering or adopting? Yes. Yeah. I think if I were to have kids, I would adopt. How about you? I think... I would like to have, like, some biological kids, Mm -hmm. um, but no, I think it'd be really cool to foster. Definitely. Aww. Yeah. Ooh, it's getting a little cold. Do you want my jacket? Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Sure. Thank you. The Indiana weather, you never know. You never know. (laughs) So nice out. I know. The birds are singing. Yes. Gorgeous. Oh. Can you talk about your adventures and then we'll be good for that. Great. So I remember when I first met you, you talked about liking to do adventures. Mm-hmm. What all have you done? Like, what's some of your favorite adventure stories? Good question. Um, I'd probably have to say zip lining in Costa Rica. Ooh, was incredible. I was in seventh grade and my family went to Costa Rica. We went zip lining like through the rainforest and it was just super green and beautiful. That Loved sounds it. amazing. Wow. It was it was fantastic. Do you have a favorite adventure? Hmm. I I mean the one I always say is I went skydiving this summer. That was oh, fun. right. Um but I also have gone zip lining before. Cool. I went in Gatlinburg a couple years ago with my dad and that was really enjoyable and then also we have a family friend who built like kind of like a little mini zip line in his backyard Aww. in southern indiana so we would go and zip line there oh my gosh how yeah. long was it, was it like it wasn't very long i mean it was like we were like six as kids so 
Gotcha. Yeah. Still it's super intense, but yeah. yeah. Oh. For a six-year-old, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Hmm. Okay, guys. We actually have a surprise for you. So, oh. um, if you just want to finish up, and then you can follow me. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Having such a great conversation, we want to give you guys some time to get to know each other and dance um, while our special guest serenades you. In terms of how I'm feeling about Sav and Gabe right now, I still don't feel like I've gotten a chance to really get to know Gabe well enough. Uh, so I'm still really curious to see, to just get to know him a little better and see how that plays out. And Sav and I have been really connecting recently. We just had a really nice breakfast date and it's just, it's amazing. I'm feeling really good about that. Hey, Emma. Um we don't know where Sav is, and Gabe is sick. Welcome to the leaf ceremony. Unfortunately, only one of our contestants showed up today. I feel like my chances are honestly kind of 50-50. Um, so when Anna said that her family is also my family, uh, apparently, technically, that is true. Just found out couple days ago after the results of my uh, DNA test came in and we are actually third cousins. Emma came up to me and she like took me and we went to this room and I was like, oh, this is it, this is it. This is when I like win it all. This is when I'm just like the top competitor. I'm gonna get everything I ever wanted. Okay. okay. So I wanted to do this in private because I know this is really hard. Um, I just found out that we're apparently related. Did you know that? I think my dad and your mom are like cousins of some sort. And so I'm pretty sure that we're like third cousins. Um, and while technically that is legal in most states, I just, I don't know. It feels really weird to me. Um, Understandable. I think I'm gonna have to send you home. Well, I'm so sorry. I'll see you at home, cousin. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
You did that really well. Thank you. And this, honestly, is a situation that only Mennonites, only in the Midwest, and only at Goshen College would you ever run into this situation. And so, while it was unexpected, I am not surprised. Um, while I am disappointed, I understand. And while it is technically legal, you know is in your mind. I don't think it's right. So I just said to send Anna home. I learned some information that just makes things more complicated and I decided that it would be easier if we just remained roommates. It's really hard. I know she seemed like she was really into it and yeah, I just don't want this to change our roommate dynamic because we have a great dynamic. So that's my biggest concern at this point. You just sent home Anna. Would you like to call Gabe and let him know that he's gonna stay on? Sure, that's a good idea. Still not gonna risk it. That lost your last name. It killed mm. me. Oh, mm. that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so I just sent Anna home. Apparently, okay. apparently we're third cousins. Whoa. So what? yeah, I know. So I just wanted what? to let you know okay. that I am keeping you. Oh. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you for keeping me. Yeah, of course. I hope we can see you next week. I hope so, too. Okay, get better. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Right, see you. So now, there's two contestants left. How are you feeling about that? It's a lot of pressure. At, like, in the beginning, it was a lot of pressure, but at least there were more people, and now this is, it's like, it's getting real. Mm -hmm. So, I have a lot of thinking to do. But meeting their families, seeing their houses, that'll be nice. So apparently Sab didn't show up because she already has a leaf, and so she decided it wasn't <laughs> worth it to come. And that was kind of hurtful. But I'm sure she has a lot of other things going on, so I'll forgive her. Just, oh. I really... Haley, Haley. I, I sent Phil home, mm -hmm. and I, re I regret it. I miss him. Mm -hmm. I miss Phil. Okay, so what do you want to do about that? I, is, is there any way like, we could bring him back? It's a possibility. You know, we could ask him. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, would that make you feel that better? That would make me feel so much better. So this week, Emma sent Anna home and Gabe and Sab are Next week, we'll film hometowns. And there will be the return of a past competitor. Satisfied. Love that she gave.